Jesus, he mm. hit the ground running. <laughs> Well, we start really sharp. Uh, that's the game that we wanted to play, but uh, for longer periods, especially in the second half. But uh, listen, to win here, you need to, to suffer. We've done it, and that's part of the mentality that we want to build to come to these places and, and find a way to win it at the end, and uh, we've done it today. We were just talking there before you came in about the set piece, and now you had every single player up on the edge of the box, and now we would have been nervous if we were Ben White at the edge of the box and then to race back in there. Who, who gets the credit for the set piece? Was it your idea? Was it one of the other coaching staff that came up with that? It was uh, one of the set, uh, set piece coaches that uh, created uh, the routine, yes. And you practiced it yesterday? We practiced it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're not giving much away. No. <laughs> Talking about the young player at the back, I, I was really impressed with him today. And at times, your, your teams over the last two or three years and, and Arsenal teams, maybe even that you played in, have been questioned maybe at times for the determination, the physicality to mm. come to places like that. The actual stature of him, even at 21, no. Is that, is that, is that a, a big bonus for you, sort of, for this season? We're talking about Jesus and Zinchenko, but a player to come in like that at the back? Well, you need the right balance. As you mentioned, physicality in this league is something that you cannot come short because if you do, you're going to be exposed and you're going to have to be able to, to deal with, with certain games and certain opponents that demand so much on that aspect. And those two, for their age, they are really well built and they give us a different age. The same with Ben, to have another player in the back line. Uh, with that size, um, it's something really important in these type of matches. How pleased were you in the second half when you were getting put under pressure that you withstood that and you got the clean sheet? That's the resilience that, uh, that we need to win, uh, to win football matches and see football matches through. And uh, we had some moments, you need your goalkeeper because to be honest, they had the biggest chance in the game, that 1v1, and Aaron did incredibly well and, uh, and he won the game for us. Jesus at the top end of the pitch, I mean, I thought in the first half an hour he was electric with the ball at his feet, but also winning the ball back. There was a great opportunity, I think, in the second half where he won the ball and you maybe Martin. should have killed the game. Yeah. Odegaard maybe should have got a strike off. How big think a bigger difference can he make to this team? The fear factor, I think, that uh, is always on your shoulder. The ball is bouncing, that 50-50 ball. He's always had that intuition, that ability to, to get the ball off you. And uh, he's never standing still. He's always on the move. He's always ready to act. And, and he's so sharp. So I think for the defenders, it's, it's difficult to play against him. Mikel, you've already added to the, the squad across this transfer window. Looks like they've had a very successful start to life as Arsenal players in the Premier League. Still open, though. Is there room for more activity for Arsenal? We are going to try. Uh, there are a few things that uh, we planned, and if we could do them, it would be great. But uh, now it's work with the players that we have. We are in the middle of the season already, and uh, the focus should be with the players that we have to get the best out of them. Any names for us, Mikael? No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> you are in contention. It was, it, was, it was worth asking. Mikael, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations thank on the win tonight. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can we take the...